Yeah. I mean, that, if, if like somebody just came up to me and was like, no, really, I want to carry you around and be like, I don't know if you can You know, there's a scripture that says if somebody wants to serve you and it pleases them, you have to let them. You know? I don't know exactly who that scripture is, but I'm so <laughs> yeah, read the scripture for it up. Louise is talking about those dudes over there. But that wouldn't, uh, being carried around wouldn't release me. I like walking. I find joy in walking. We too. Oh, you don't got to I mean. I mean, I'm standing here in the rain. Really? Yeah. Turn sideways. Really? I mean, the tree holding the rain is pretty good. I understand, you know. <laughs> wow. Oh, you got the whole thing? We'll say a one two. Then Now, we just talking about the Jews. Now, this is what the Bible said. This is a characteristic of the real Jews, or the real Israelites. Because, you know, Jew, that's just one tribe. There's 12 tribes, right? You know about the 12 different tribes of Israel? I've, I've heard of it. I haven't. Uh, yeah, because not... you always hear people say Jew this and Jew that. Well, Jew just is short for Judah, the tribe of Judah. There's 12 tribes. Well, go ahead and read that. Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured. Cannot be measured. Nor numbered. Nor numbered. There's too many of it. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Yeah, them fake Jews over there, they try to say they're Jews. But they only make up 0.2% of the world's population. 0.2. You can look that up on Google. If not smaller. But that, <laughs> that goes against the Bible. Because right. they're trying to say they got a monopoly. That we don't only chosen people. They just a few people. They're liars. Right. So the, the real Israelites are scattered among all nations. Okay. So let me read again. Plus the original Jews were dark-skinned people. So that further, there's none of those are black at all. See, that's the key part right here at the beginning. Yeah. The number of the children of the Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. You can't count on the sand which, on the sea. Right, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Can't be measured. 2A, East Main to Hamilton Road. Because a lot of these churches, like your church probably teach, what do they teach you, y'all, that uh, you're, you're Israelites? What's that? Does your church teach, do they teach that you're Israelite? Um, I've never heard them actually call us Israelites, but the main message of our church is um, to be accepting to everybody and to not me, have... Okay, sorry. give me one scripture on that, be accepting to everybody. Usually, usually I need to look it up. Just one scripture, just give me one. To everybody. That means every nation, right? That means a Chinese man. Please don't get John 3.16. Oh, don't say that. What's that? I don't say it. Because everybody gets John 3.16. Yeah, it's good. We got to explain it. We got to go through the whole process of breaking it down. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You know, made it, yeah. It's made a billion John 3.16 videos. <laughs> yeah, because like I guess the scripture said, Israel's so n numerous you can't number them. Okay, we're all over the place. <laughs> so that's why we have to teach the gospel to all nations because we're scattered among all nations. Let me get, let me get oh, this scripture. Get, get uh, Titus, uh, uh, what is that, 13? No, no, not Titus, Toby. I, I get it. Actually, I got my pockets right here. Let me get it. That. And this is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. Woo! But I gave thee. Discontinue That's from your heritage. people don't know their Israelites. They all, everybody, like these churches, first of all, the preachers in these churches, they just feel good preachers. They just there to get your money. It's a business tool. It's a hustle. Even they might they might seem sincere. They might seem uh, loving and caring. But it's, there's scriptures on that. It, they're really they're demons. All right. I think that there are a lot of churches that do exactly what you're saying. That uh, ask for donations, but in actuality, it is a selfish act. However, I my personal church met in a cafeteria. The pastor paid for the rent for the cafeteria and there were literally 30 people, give or take, and everybody had a role. Some people brought in coffee that we all shared. My personal role, I, uh, I mix audio and I mixed audio for the band and we would, everybody had a role and it was all paid for by the pastor. Are you so. a musician? Yes, I am. Uh, what do you play? I'm a percussionist. Oh yeah? Yes. You got a full drum set? Not really, I'm more auxiliary and uh, Playing the tambourines is that? 
<laughs> Among other things. Um, we all the percussion toys. We all sit around and sing songs about yeah, Jesus. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm not saying I was saying it was going to be And uh, oh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. So, going discontinue from your heritage. With the heritage is Israel. That's our heritage, okay? That, that's the Israel, the word Israel means he is a prince of God. And the, the, the scriptures say over and over again, uh, hear thou the word of the Lord, my people of Israel. That I gave you, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. Yeah, cause you to serve thy enemies. That means you're going to be scattered amongst the other nations once again, and you're going to have to do what the heathens say to do. Like right now, we got to do what the American government says. We go go to jail. You know, uh, like, it's legal to be a homosexual in America. Actually, in America, you can break every one of the Ten Commandments, well, almost every one of them, with no punishment. Keep going. But uh, homosexuals can get married. Bro. And that will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. The land thou knowest not. Because we're from Israel, we're not from America. Where ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Woo. So yeah, the most high, this is a punishment. Living in this wicked kingdom right here, this is a punishment. Okay, now, so I got some I got some quotes for you, the ones that I said I would look up in my slow phone finally. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So I feel like, and then I have. Keep going. Read the rest of it. That's the one. I. I'll I'm, be. Hey, let's, let's read the rest of it. Let's do it. The, uh, <laughs> where is that one at? I know the one in Matthew five. I mean, excuse me, it's Matthew seven. <laughs> it's in the It's in the Bible. Word, word. Get Matthew seven. Judge not that you will not be judged, okay. for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. Now listen, listen, listen. If I was going around sleeping with my boys' wives, right? And then going around telling people, oh, don't be doing that. That makes me a dumbass hypocrite, right? Well, yeah, but that has nothing to do with the Bible. That's just stupid. Keep, they keep going, though. There's more to that. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. All right, keep going. Why do you see the speck that is... Come on, phone. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice as long as it is in your own eye? See, that's key. Now keep going. Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. First, you got to get right yourself before you curse other people out. Correct. And the only person that has ever lived that has been 100% free of sin is Jesus Christ. But he told you, he said first, because he, he wants you to judge people, but saying don't but first judge you people. have to be 100% without no, sin. Nobody's 100% no, no without sin. Exactly, which means nobody has the right to judge other people. No, 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 the Lord has what he called the elect. Are you familiar with that? No, I'm he not. He has saints. The, the saints. The saints, okay. The elect, okay? I've the always, elect. I haven't heard them refer to as the elect. Continue. It's in the Bible. All through the scriptures. Yeah. All through the scriptures. Well, those elect here are put here to judge. They are put here to judge. You can't, I can't look at a, a, a woman having 20 men bust a nut on them and running train on this woman and not say nothing. <laughs> now, I'm supposed to be like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's weird. No, you know what I mean? Not, there you go. I'm not saying, I am not saying at all that that doesn't mean that other things that aren't in the Bible aren't wrong. I'm saying that in terms of judging other people's religion and the other way that people worship God, you know the problem with this, this world is messed up. You know why it's so messed up? Because there is no judgment. Because everybody teaches. There's no judgment. That's why it's so messed up. That's why it's no, Nobody's correcting each other. So if, you, if you'll never correct your son, say you have a young child. He's always being bad, but you never correct him and never tell him he's then being he's bad. Then he's not disciplined. So this is an undisciplined society. Now listen to me. Let me get a script but, but, but you can't discipline other people's kids. You can only discipline well, you can't your own. You ever heard of... Uh, the, I'm an education major. There, I work with kids listen, professionally. Listen, 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 listen. Back in the day, there was times when the whole village would discipline other people's kids and everything was well, in order. You, well, like when I was a young, when I was young, 
And if I did some bad shit, if I like busted someone's windows out, then some old man's gonna curse me out and go get my parents. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But let me read the scripture for you. Now listen. First Corinthians, you listen to good now. First Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. What? But he that is spiritual. Now he didn't say he is he is that is religious. He that is spiritual. He that is spiritual. Judges all things. That's right. Yet he himself is judged of no man. Oh. Now that's speaking of some elect right there. Come on. I'm sorry. Wait. You want to break that down for me? What is that? Break mean? down what we just said. Yeah. What is yes. that? What's that all about? May I read it? Oh. Right, but it makes a difference if the he is capitalized or not. I'm wondering I'll if it's it. It says that he that is spirit. Are you spiritual? I find myself to be spiritual. Yes. But you're not judging nobody. But it says he though. What? Oh, it does say it he. It says he though. It does not say she. It yeah. don't say he and she. It says he. So you're right. So you think Actually, that that you're right. So you're not supposed to be right. You're not supposed to judge people. Right. <laughs> That's our job. That's right. The job of the saints. The prophet. So are all men saints then? Is that what you're... Let's say it again. No. Say it again. Are all no. men saints? Oh, oh, hell no. So a woman oh, can't be a saint? Saying. Well, uh, a woman can be... There could be a, uh, not a saint, but she can be holy. I mean, like... Yeah. How can you explain a it, man? Righteous, I get a it. righteous woman. I get she like, can be a righteous like woman. Like Sarah. Like Sarah. Right? She, Judith. Yeah, Judith's a real good example. Yep. 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 Uh, but you can't go around teaching, though. Yeah. Teaching men. And, you you can teach women. Yeah, you can teach women. Right? You can teach your aunt and your cousin. Right. Other women, yeah, that's right. So women can't teach the Bible. No, they can teach know. women. They can so, teach women. So if if my boyfriend asks me about the Bible, I can't explain it again. Well, I mean, you're going to do it anyway. But He's supposed to explain the Bible to you. But what if he was raised, what if he was raised in a household that didn't praise the Bible? That's not his fault that his parents weren't religious. You got a boyfriend? I do. Where he is? I'm actually supposed to go meet him, but then I got distracted by you fine gentlemen. Yeah, you should go meet him. Yeah, you're supposed to bring uh, him out here. About eight months. Yeah, you should go get him and bring him, bring back. him back. Yeah, we're yeah. supposed to talk to you if you're married. That's right. You're not supposed to talk to a married woman. That's right. No, at yeah. all. Get on. Not really. Unless we need to correct you, see you doing something wicked. You're going to say something then. That's, right, that's right evil, though, because when we stare at a woman, we're not... You're not supposed to be around other men's wives. Right. But you just only one thing on your mind when you're looking at a woman. You're not supposed to be around other men. Well, at least you admit it, so thank you. That's just the way it is. Yeah, sure. So a woman can't be a pastor, or well, not a pastor, but a woman can't teach in a church. A woman can't. I, I, you got to rest like I'm Sunday school. Uh, so you got to read your Bible. You save yourself a lot of trouble if you just read the Bible. And that's how we know all these churches are full of, full of shit. You know, uh, first thing I did, you know, the wind blowing mess you up sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we you still put, you, we still put your comprehension skills to test here. I got it. This student here. Yes, ma'am. What you taking here? I'm an early childhood education major. There we go, let me read this for you. First Timothy 2 and 15. Actually, not 15, 2 and uh, so let's, one, let's so start at 9. One way. First Timothy <laughs> 2 and 9. It, this is it's going to break you down uh, how a woman's supposed to behave herself in the church, okay? okay. This is the rules and regulations. It's a, in like manner also, hold on, let's see. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, now with shame face, excuse me. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame faces of sobriety, not with broided hair or gold pearls and costly arrays. You know, you know when people go to church, they all put on a Sunday's best. No, the women, we wear jeans at our church. We're very. Well, women are right there wearing jeans. But like you're wearing a dress. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, women are supposed to wear dresses. They're supposed to wear pants. So a woman who wears jeans can't worship God. No, she ain't supposed to. Woman's supposed to wear a dress. There's reasons for it. So what do you need to talk about, right, bitch? <laughs> You're supposed yep. to wear dress for reasons. Yeah. You want to know? I'll tell you. <laughs> I would like to know why women supposed to wear a dress. Because your kitty cat's supposed to be able to get air and breathe. 
Got one of one well, to wear jeans. Have jeans. Listen, when, when, when you got jeans, so ain't no air getting in there to <laughs> keep it fresh. I beg to there differ. There is no air getting in there to keep it fresh. I beg to differ. You I... beg to differ? How's air getting in there when well, you got first jeans off, on? I would like to is that what the zipper for? When the Bible was written, there were showers. There wasn't an easy way for you to maintain them. Wait a minute. What? What made that up? I'm just saying that hygiene is a lot better than it was a couple thousand years ago. No, it wasn't. That's not really true. Really? No, back then they used to bathe in oils. What you talking about? Oil they did it right. They did it right back then. It really depends on what society you're talking about. Right, like, right. Like, there like, was no chemical. There was pure. Right. Like, like, like France. Well, how do you know I don't use organic bath wash? Well, that's good to use that stuff, yeah, actually. Yeah, you know? My mother's an environmental engineer. All of my products are environmental. But we're talking about what's happening to the wearing jeans and the wearing dress. Hey, you can't well, argue that's that good. Well, I think that wearing it out was a hygienic thing. You <laughs> have better hygiene. Plus, with the dress, though, you got easy access. Right. <laughs> well, let me read this. I told you you didn't want to know. You probably do want to know. I did. You weren't ready for the answer. No. Because you're married. When you you take a talk? woman's pants off now, you're about to get down and do some of that good stuff. Woo! God damn, yeah, bro, there ain't no air got in there. You yeah, know, okay. that fuck comes up. You know what I'm saying? So... That's an open, that's I'm assuming, an open wound, I'm assuming baby. you gentlemen do not believe in marriage or sex before marriage. No, sex, sex, sex is marriage. Right. When you lay down with a woman, you and her spirit become one, and she's supposed to stay with you for her whole life. So then, why can't an unmarried woman wear jeans? Uh, no, 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 yeah, not, why can't you wear jeans? It's just not proper, okay? First of all, a woman looks better with a dress on, okay? It's, it's more woman. It's, it's feminine. The okay? woman's not supposed to be manly. Look yeah, strong. all manly. Walking down the street with it. Right, right, right. How y'all doing? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what are we supposed to address? There's a the law on that in the Bible. Yeah, there's a the law on it. Let me, back all right, let me read this real quick. This is a uh, like manner also. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, and that dressing like all these hoes, everything hanging out. You can see all kinds of stuff. Uh, with shame faces and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold pearls or costly array, but which becometh woman professing godliness with good works. Now this is the key point right here. Let the woman learn in silence Woo! with all subjection. But I suffered not a woman to teach. What? I suffered not a this, woman this to is teach. The Bible we're reading. He said what scripture says you can't woman can, you can't have women preachers. That's going against the Bible. <laughs> Let the, there's a reason. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. I, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You know, what does silence mean? That means the woman talking to him shut the hell up. For, Ad, for Adam was first formed and then Eve. So Adam came first. Everybody said, what came first, the woman or the man? Well, the Bible says the man came first. Yeah. Okay. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. Because Eve was formed, uh, she was formed, created to be a help meet under Adam, to help him out. Adam was lonely, so the Most High gave him someone to help him out. Did so, you create her wearing a dress? Of course. A woman, back in the beginning, all the uh, women were in their right state of mind, okay? So Eve was created wearing a dress. No, she was naked. Come on. You come in the world after. Oh, yeah, everybody comes in the world naked, obviously. Right. But there's, a, there's always been a dress code, though. I mean, see, just like, see, for thousands of years, ever since the beginning of time, marriage was considered a, a, a woman and a man. That's when you become one. Now, all of a sudden, in this uh, cesspool we live in now, now, that everything... Uh, they got a new definition of marriage. They're saying now uh, you can have a man married a man. Now a woman can be a man. Now a man can turn into a woman. <laughs> okay? Right, right, right. So, yeah, now we, we live in confusion now. Okay? Oh, go ahead. Can I actually read you guys something really quickly, but I do need to get going. Um, so, I'll read you this. We can discuss it, but I know I was going somewhere. Um, Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupting, no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that is may give grace to those who hear. I did not appreciate you calling those women hoes. Hey. I did not think that that built anybody up. She's a bitch, she's a bitch, she's a bitch. 
You know that's in the Bible, right? Yeah, that's in the Bible. You know the scripture said there shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel. That's a law. But you can't just go around calling girls on the streets bitches. That's well, we, really, don't, we don't just wamble. That's walking. inappropriate, that's and I feel offended by your language. I work with kids, and that's not something that. We're in church right now, though. That's why. We're in church right now. That's why. We, we don't just randomly just be walking. Up. Be actually, I do. Actually, I do. I call them. You know, I call them. I call them hoes too. That's right. That's right. I mean, I'm not going. Why do you think all these diseases is running around rampant? Yeah, you, oh yeah, you do you know? know you, gotta speak, the, you gotta speak out about this. Yeah, man. the uh, Center of D Disease and Control, the, of mold, mold the CDC just came out with a study and said that over half of Americans are affected with venereal diseases and STDs. Over half. This is a fact. Over a half. Now, they got new strains of uh, antibiotic resistant gonorrhea floating around. They can't be they, they said the new gonorrhea is worse than AIDS. Can you imagine how painful that is? Google it. Can you imagine no, how painful No, I believe that, is? that. There's some crazy STDs going on. That's right, that's right. That's but I don't think that gives you the right to call them derogatory names. So how are we going to stop the diseases from spreading then? By, by, saying, nice by saying it's okay? That by being nice to Yeah. By being nice to Look, look. look I, I teach kids. Okay, that's what I do. You ain't going to be teaching my kids. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to teach them enough. But if I have a kid trip another kid, and that kid gets up, and that kid says, hey, motherfucker, you just tripped me. I'm going to give that kid a detention, and I'm going to kill that kid. Not kill, I'm sorry. I'm going to kill that kid's parents. Baby murderer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a speech. I have a I'm speech just thing. <laughs> I'm going to call that kid's parents, and that's a... Well, the little, fact that we're talking about whores. Somebody, little kids aren't I don't care. Well, some of them being, are. Being... Condescending and rude to others is being condescending the and rude. The Bible is no rude. Matter. I'm sorry? Hey, give me up. Yeah, Hold on, let me get a scripture for you. Calm down now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Calm down. You go on ape yeah. shit. Yeah, we like that. Yeah, we like that, actually. That proves you an Israelite. Let me get that. What's that scripture? Which one you want to Oh, Corinthians. I guess second Corinthians. You said you can't be rude all the time? I said you can't be derogatory. Oh, okay. That's what you, you just say rude, though. It doesn't matter. Same thing. I just want to read this scripture for you. Uh, Second Corinthians, I'm in the wrong book, hold on. Okay, uh, check this out. This is uh, Second Corinthians 11 and 6. But though I be rude in speech, <laughs> but though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been made Excuse me, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. So you're being offended by just how we're speaking, how we're talking, how things coming out. You're being offended. That, like before you came out, we were talking about when the truth comes out, it comes out raw and uncut. The it, Lord said, "Blesses if he, he's not offended." He's not offended. Yeah, yeah. Do you think I am a bitch in a hoe? No, you just go uh, more naive. I, at least, not, at least you I'm believe in the Bible. I give you that that little bit of credit. That's I don't. I don't feel like it to go around calling other people that you've never even met. That's your nature of being so... When somebody says to me, you're just a woman, I check out of the conversation. Bye. You guys have a nice day. That's just like, um, Jonah. When Moses told Jonah to go to Syria. Oh yeah, he didn't want to do it. Yeah, he was scared as hell. Why was he scared? Oh, they thought he was going to... Oh, Jonah probably escaped. He didn't worry about what's going to happen. He was going to go because he knew. Jonah got on his ship, he tried to escape to go to uh, Spain. Yeah, the, 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 the water waves was rocking that motherfucker like it's gonna take it over, man. But I can imagine, because right. you ever see some of them, uh, you ever watch uh, uh, the fishing shows, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. Deadly Fish, Deadly Fish. Oh, the biggest like, catch. Man, don't, don't, the boats be fucking huge, know, but yeah. the waves be taking that boat like. Well, I seen one episode, it, uh, one wave come through and kill like seven dudes in one swoop. In one swoop. Oh, yeah, one they was gone. Everybody yeah, was looking yeah. at him like they gone, boy. They, they ain't no, boys ain't no are, reason to look for them. Yeah, yeah you can't look keep, for them. Just go. Just go on. You might. I mean, that's stupid, man. They, they don't wear no beacons on. They don't. They don't take extra measures. But that's on they them. They don't wear no safety line. Yeah, that's on them, though. Yeah. That's on them. Fuck that. Wave like you know? that. I, you ain't gonna see me on no goddamn boat. Hell no. Wave like that, man. I don't think there's anything safe. You might as well just say, hang it up, man. As soon as you hit that water, just start bringing that water. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna suffer, man. You, that water knocked your ass That's around. Cold, yeah. Can you imagine like for real with, 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 with knowing them was in the boat? And how long was it raining this shit uh, uh, for 40 days? Yeah, yeah, right. Now, you know Israel was some bad motherfuckers. Israel didn't die right away. Some of them motherfuckers yeah. had shit to hold on to for a yeah. while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were scratching the floor on the dark. <laughs> right, right. So it took a minute to kill them off fucking long time. Oh, yeah. We were manly as fuck back then. Yeah. We could swim our ass off, man. 
So don't waves is probably smacking the sh wait man, water can be like cement, man. When yeah. you get some waves. Yeah. It can be like a rock. That shit, That's a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you water, that belly belly was probably hitting them too. Bam! Bam! You was probably hitting them, probably hitting them against the boat too. Yeah, yeah. Bam! <laughs> I bet a couple but yeah, bust their head right against yeah, the boat. You know yeah. I Most after, made sure they was finished. I bet after they got out of the ark, they probably had like all kinds of fingernails <laughs> and blood. Yep, yep. Oh, they had yeah. to, man. You had to. Bigger nails. Had to. Embedded in that shit. Yep. Because you know Israel can the Lord said, lock in like Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, the scripture says that they, uh, the Lord, the Most High, sealed the ark shut. Yep. Yeah, yeah sealed that one. He yeah. had to do it. Noah, you know Noah's wife was like, hey, come on. Yeah, he did. Just let a couple, that's my nigga. That's your ill girl right there with a letter. She would have let everybody in the day. There wouldn't have been no room. That's that girl who I used to get drunk with. Yeah, right. Baggage. Come on, Noah. I'll let that one be your cocky bar. Let her in. She was a dick, but he did. He said she had freckles like crazy. I mean, she, uh, and we was being nice as hell to her. Yeah. You know, we've been super nice to her. <laughs> and if she's still in the first part, man, like she was moving out of the corner of her eye, hoping somebody said something. Oh, right. like that, that's that's these women are undisciplined, man. They're very, they're watching on. They were hoping I said uh, something. Yeah. Because as soon as you said something, she was like, yeah. Yeah. A lot of women, yeah, yeah. they yeah. scared. They, uh, a lot of women like to be called over here. That's a natural state. I have one like that. Come here. A lot of women respond to that when you give them commands and stuff. Even though yeah. she claims like she don't like people telling her what to do, mm -hmm. yeah, she, yeah, she'll yeah. still listen when you come here. Get over here. Right, right, right. You know right. right. Yeah. And it's her nature. They just yeah, yeah. come on over. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. in their spirit makes them work react. But a black woman like what? Oh, oh fuck yeah. you, motherfucker! What? Niggas, you gotta talk. You like that motherfucker? There goes Gabby Hayes. Hey, yeah, there go. Hey, get Gabby Hayes on camera. There go Gabby. That hey, Gabby Hayes right there. You know, only the most high can create a black woman, man. Yeah, only the most high can do something like that's that. That's a special creation right there. Good lord. That's something different. That's a different heathen. That's a heathen with, with the spirit. <laughs> that's like that fucking creature with the lion head. And the, uh, that's the the, uh, the gift, the, the griffin. Yeah. The bitch is a goddamn griffin. Yeah, much over here. Oh yeah, we should get back a little bit. Yeah, it is more dry over here. Yeah, it's really over here. That's where kept it. we got a nice cover right here. Oh, oh it's wetter right oh, yeah. here. Well, stand wherever you got. That's kind of dry right there. You see it? Oh, oh it, it is. Look at that. It's because you're standing over here. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> hey, yeah, wait. You supposed to wait. You supposed to be meeting her husband. I know you mad as hell. Yeah, see the darkest woman, man. They always looking for the next best thing. That's just in their spirit, man. I'm a, you know, you don't give a fuck. This don't give a fuck how good you treat her, how good the relationship. I'm not a big witness to that. How good the relationship going, man? These bitches see something looking wrong up in a motherfucking Mercedes BMW. Yeah, allow curiosity right there. There it is, right there. Lost calls. Lost calls. These bitches ain't on women. They ain't on anyway. These bitches on. We on a temporary lease in this house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at least that goes to show you how retarded these so-called Christians are. Hi, these motherfuckers are retarded, man. They know shit. Don't know no scriptures. We asked her if she knew how to comprehend it. How good is her comprehension? She walked yeah, walk around with a Bible. Ain't never read it. <laughs> Why you even got the Bible? <laughs> give it to me so I can have an extra one. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. That was funny, man. We were always pulling out those uh, lady men. A day planner. Like, what? Man, so that's not. Yeah, it's spread out. Y'all like, you like Sodom and Gomorrah? That's your favorite place to live? I love it. Every, Elliot, man, there's so many faggots, it's unbelievable. That's why, hey, I love that story. But the angels was like, when they said, uh, when the motherfucking goddamn people was like, oh no, they were the daughters. It wasn't the, you know he's right. And they said, oh, that's it. Get over his daughters. Get your kids. Oh, that's Sodom, though. Yeah, that's, that's, hey, that's just Sodom and Gomorrah, right? This that is, is worse than Sodom. And they was like, hey, that's it right there. That's all it is here. This is worse than Sodom. I seen the nigga breaking up. I was like, yeah, Abraham was pushing it, though. He was like, what about this? What about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 what about that? Yeah,
Yeah, hey, this ain't working out. Oh, it's well. cool. It's alright. It's ain't really that hard. Right it's now. Like, what yeah, whatever. It's well, getting soaked. Let me get some scriptures out. We ain't gonna stay here too long. We ruin the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, we've been out here for a minute anyway. Isaiah three and nine. Actually, I'm gonna read this. I wanted to read this earlier, but I didn't get get to it all the way. I always get interrupted. But Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. So the Lord said these people are against the Lord. That's right. Enemies. Yeah, they're the Lord's enemy. That's right. He ain't supposed to be nice to the enemies of the Lord. Right. They, these people are foul people, man. She took offense on how we refer to these bitches. They, yeah, these people are rather take the side of a... Uh, of a damn faggot before they take the side of the Lord. They'll agree with a faggot and say we can't judge them before they agree with the Lord. Remember when Israel, when they had the Lord, and they um and uh and Israel, they they wanted this murderous, no good piece of shit nigga to be let out of prison. And oh, that, yeah. Remember that part? And they getting crucified. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. They, get they, get that one. they wanted that nigga be let out instead of the Lord to be let go free, man. Yeah. A no good, no, a no piece of shit. Everybody knows yeah. like a Nino Brown type motherfucker. Nino Brown, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who else? What another, another dirt no good nigga in music, man? Yeah. Um, uh, the other nigga, Nino that Denzel Washington play. Alonzo. Uh, yeah, you know, a nigga like that. Everybody know he's a piece of shit. Everybody know, and they want him let out of prison and the Lord locked up still. No, man, that, that, fuck these that's why, that's a perfect scripture too, man. It is. That's a badass it, scripture, man. And these people have a problem with us because we speak rough and shit. But their best friends is a drug dealer. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, or right. some uh, gangster or something. Right. Turkey handing out motherfuckers. Fuck, fuck, fuck y'all motherfuckers, man. We're gonna, gonna kill y'all. We're gonna snatch these things. A little oh, chicken wing. Yeah, look at this little chicken. She like a petite chicken wing. A little one too. Oh, yeah. That is nice. Let's read this. Yeah, because these women, they're gonna be spoiled. The show of their countenance does witness against them. But like most of these women, you can just like, she said, how can you call a bitch a hoe? How, how can you call women whores? Well, the scripture said their countenance does witness against them. Mm -hmm. And they declare they sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Look, woe unto their soul. Destruction. Well, it says woe unto them. Right. Woe it's unto them. Yep. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. <laughs> look, look at it. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. That's right. Woe unto the wicked. Now you say the Lord ain't a righteous. That's a right. That sounds like a righteous man. It says, "Woe unto the wicked! <laughs> it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him." That's right. That's right. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. That's child support. Like oh, that yeah, that's child support. Women running shit. You got the women's liberation movement. Okay, the women's lives spreading all over the place. They already pushing for Hillary Clinton to be the next president. And it, Hillary Clinton got caught up in all kind of scandals like that Benghazi shit. You know? and, and everybody knows it was her fault people got killed in Benghazi. Right, right, right. right? But you know what? They don't even care. They still going to elect her because these people are wicked as hell. They want some evil people ruling over them. They want a lesbian boo dyke bitch to be the president. Oh, just like they got that uh, uh, that wiener guy. He's running for mayor in New York. And he's leading in the polls for mayor in New York. You know, Anthony Wiener? Yeah, yeah, he's that yeah, dude that got caught posting pictures of his dick, yeah, yeah. pictures of his wiener on uh, Twitter. But now he's going, it looking like he's going to be the next mayor of New York. The same motherfucker that was hey, out called a, out naked somewhere. Yeah, what the fuck? Naked thing. out in the public somewhere. And pin people voting for him like, oh, this guy's the greatest. Yeah, they like that shit. Oh, I love That's why the scripture said, your continents does witness against your motherfuckers, man. They don't reward an evil for themselves. That's why right. yeah, they do put fucking Hillary in there. Man, the worst That's thing how he will be fucking close. It'd be a miracle to get to that point anyway. Well, actually, the Obama administration is just a continuation of the Clinton. That's all it is. Clinton, Clinton administration. Yeah. I mean, Clinton administration. Did, yeah. Like, Claire Bradford was doing that moment. That was it. I mean, that won't be it. Yeah, because the government don't change every four no, years, man. Yeah. Yeah. Who? No, because we was talking about how Egypt under the land who wanted that bitch. I was talking about Cleopatra. Yeah, it was. Oh, she was a done deal. She was a done deal. She was an Edomite. She was a Ptolemy, a lion of the Ptolemy. Yeah, that was. 
and I'll play this fight if that bitch Hillary be a damn president. Oh, Hillary Clinton, she might be one of she might be one of those Cleopatras in the reincarnation. That'd be that'd be that'd be back to nope. my soul just to get to that point and see that bitch. She could she could be back from one of them lines, you know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. Because yep. she's just from some kind of uh yep. elite, so-called elite Edomite bloodline mm -hmm. to go oh, back. Battery's to about to go out. Oh, oh, the battery's about to die. That's cool, man. We came out here. I'll be fucking. We put in a little work out here in the rain. A lot of y'all scared to even teach in the rain. No, right, right. I'm gonna get my Jordans wet. Uh, <laughs> so we ain't got no Jordans out here. Right. I ain't got nothing. I want. I, I ain't valuing shit like that anyway. But my Bible. Oh yeah, you <laughs> that's know. That's the only value thing, valuable thing I have is my Bible. Yeah, the Bible still be getting you know, wet. That's why I got it covered up. I don't want to get it wet. Yeah, I need a new Bible, man. You know, my phone right here getting wet. I don't give a fuck. Well, I, yeah, he, that like that bitch should have really gave me a. I should have asked for a Bible. She don't need it. Right. You got an extra Bible? Give me a Bible. Because, yeah, these women, they don't, what are they going to do with a Bible? You know what I'm saying? Fan their coochie with it. Hey, you know, they're not going to read it. They can't comprehend it. It's all for show. Yeah, it's all for show. They're going to carry around it. The women got the biggest Bible, too. Like, everybody's grandma got that big, yeah. giant Bible they got on the coffee table. In the movie. When you look at it, it's always the Bible's open up to John 3.16, got it highlighted, sitting on the coffee table. You know what I'm saying? It, you ain't reading that Bible. Hey, you turn the Bible, you close the Bible, it'll open right back up and it opens Yeah, it's stuck on the same page. Yeah, yeah, it'll open right back up to the same page. It's been sitting there, not on that one page for <laughs> over right. 20 years. Right, right. So we ain't had, seen it. When our grandmother died, we inherited her Bible. Yeah, she didn't look like she was reading that Bible, did she? Bible that same. She might have read it a couple of times. Table, <laughs> and we got that dust print. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, we're crazy. So you can turn that shit off, man. <laughs> <laughs>